Are y'all still together? Yeah, my grandma says I'm single. Cam make a into a housewife. I'm not worried about it. His wife started running right. an old fans. Home. <laughs> well, former is subjective, Dante. Maybe she was out of the game. She's back. She, she Just like Michael Jordan, she, she has come out of retirement. She needs to have bouncers to slow down the traffic get going in her Gucci. Door guy with a clipboard. Like, listen, oh, yeah, man, yeah, we yeah. can't let anyone in until we let some people out. We had the fire marshal down here like 15 minutes ago. He said he's going to shut it down. So you got to be patient, please. And that's why you set boundaries. And you have to understand, is this the type of person that I want to be with? That's also why you don't marry somebody who did adult films. Because yeah. in all fairness to her, this is all she knows. All This is how she knows how to dig herself out of any hole. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. TYBB gets your balls back. WWDD. What would Dante do to sexual revolutions being podcasted? And I am excited. Harry, what's going on? You ready to rock and roll? Uh, Dante, you know I'm ready to rock and roll. I'm, I'm living the best life right now. If I was doing any better, I'd be Cameron on a massage table, my friend. It, life is that sweet. That can happen. It can that, happen, that, apparently. If you have enough money, apparently that, it can. With Joe Smith's wife, that can happen immediately. Yeah. So if the price is right. Oh, yeah. Um, if you got the cash, you can do it. So remember uh, a, a while back, about a month ago, or maybe less than that, we were talking about the infamous story about Joe Smith's wife, Joe Smith, the former NBA uh, uh, star mm -hmm. who retired and his wife started running right. OnlyFans. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, former is subjective, Dante. Maybe she was out of the game. She's back. She, she Just like Michael Jordan, she, she has come out of retirement. Put the jersey back on. Uh, she she's is, been known to play a play a bit. She's like prime time. She will play a basketball game during the day. She'll play football at night, play baseball in the afternoon. She is playing with balls. She yes, is. Yeah, as long as there's balls team. involved, she's there. She's willing she's to do on it. it. She's on it. <laughs> so we had. This, a, this is always a, a, a can make a hoe into a housewife, my man. This no. is this is what happens. We try to tell you. But people we will, who they are, people show you who they are. Believe them, brother. Believe yeah. them. We also would have accepted you can't. You could take a woman off the streets, but you can't take the streets out of a woman. Um, we can't take the. So, a, a couple weeks ago, we talked about this story. Joe Smith, the basketball player's wife, just you know, it's gone mm -hmm. around on the internet. She has a video where he's upset because he finds out she has an OnlyFans page. She acts like it's no big deal. They have, I guess, I a know. breakup. They do another interview. And I guess right. they're still not together because she is. Uh, she appeared on Cameron Wild show. She is wild for the night, my friend. Yeah, you can't. Uh, you can't so, keep her down. Uh, well, you so, can't keep her uh, down. You actually, you can't keep her down <laughs> if you have enough you money. Well, she'll stay down if you put her down. She will stay down until until you finish. You know. Okay. So that's what's good. Uh, and so let's take a look a little bit of this. Uh, it, it's on the uh, show called It Is What It Is, which I didn't even know about this show until a couple weeks ago. Oh, this is just so you know, this is the greatest show ever. So uh, I, I watched Cameron, it. It is the greatest sports show oh, ever it's because it's the greatest sports show ever. Man. They have an amazing set. They have amazing production. It looks like you're watching ESPN, except people are dropping M bombs and going this shit. And this they, guy ain't and they shit. Love Technically, this falls under their jurisdiction because it is uh, a basketball story, technically. Okay, so I guess she's now working for this site or something called The Body Rub Babes. Hold on. I just want to point something out, Dante. On the bottom left corner of the screen, this is this is some trolling shit. Yeah, they have her there with her, her cleavage out. On the bottom left, there's a picture of them happy together. Her Joe Smith, and her husband. Her and her Who's husband, who are now separated. Do the Body Rub Babes travel? Yes, they do. Are you one of the body rub babes? Well, I have been, but now I kind of like. <laughs> but if I wanted you to be one of my body rub babes, like, uh, uh, would you be a body rub babe for okay. me? Oh, yeah, sure. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. Because I, I, I don't mean to be a professional <laughs> or anything like that, but I can't stop looking at your cleavage. It's, it's, you got, yo, your cleavage okay. is popping, babe. <laughs> nah, nah, you can leave it how it was, man. You can leave it exactly how it was, man. I, hmm. Right now, think about cleavage and the body rub babes. But uh, <laughs> so, I don't cover no, high school. It's, not, it's, it's like, you know. Um. Yeah, babe. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry to get off track, man. But I'm uh, sorry about that. This is really unprofessional, Cameron. I'm going to say this right now. We expect better journalism 
from Cameron. I am appalled. I am appalled. appalled. These are not the standards I expect. I expect the things I expect from it is what it is now is uh, a lot of gratuitous use of the N word. A lot of people uh, making fun of each other's sexuality and uh, yeah. cursing each other out, out but I do not expect sloppy journalism, Cameron. Disrespect. Sloppy, I'm not going to have this, but... She starts up these little, like, businesses and things. Like, she has side yeah, hustles, ho, and I ho, think she started... Ho, ho business. Ho business. Side, side ho business. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm sorry. I didn't want you to think that she's doing a con- business consulting on the side. No, no. They're all ho-related. This ho is related. not Bitcoin. Right, this right. This is not Bitcoin, yeah. man. Lest we think that she started an Etsy uh, page where she's selling no, no. Christmas ornaments. So, so she's she not basically selling macrame plant hangers. Cameron is a uh, a man of his word because a couple weeks later, <laughs> they, where, where where's your relationship at right now? Because they act, I don't really know. There is uh, there is Keisha uh, giving him a full body massage on the table of his desk at, on the set of It Is What It Is. Are y'all still together? I, I don't not, know what we are, but I'm I'm getting this paper will this, right now. Will this jeopardize it? <laughs> yeah. What I like is that uh, they're still trying to conduct a 60 minute style interview. Uh, <laughs> now is where they're being professional. In the this, middle of getting I, a massage, is this, there there are people out there who would find this troublesome. People want to know. This a thing. Would people people want? Yeah, he's doing the people want to know. You know, we've been doing the research. The people, people want to know. know. I'm just asking questions here. I'm, gonna I'm feel- not worried about it. Dude. No, but he's not gonna feel any way about what you're doing. I mean, no answer. She didn't give What's an answer. The last time y'all communicated. <laughs> Why is he still asking the chick questions while she's pressing on his spot. lower back? <laughs> he got the. She got the spot. Um, When's the last time? Each other over the last. Week. Good. That's the last good. week. You're making progress. <laughs> so his hope for the future with y'all. Um. Do you want, do you want, do you want it to be hope there? Um, I want to be happy. This, this is what I think from your comments. I think, and you can tell me if I'm wrong. Uh, Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. He's, he's trying to conduct a legitimate interview. But I think that you was at a point a couple weeks ago where you wanted to fix this. And I think that you're having fun right now seeing what you with single life has been treating you like the last couple of weeks. Cause no. I'm just saying I could be wrong, but last Honestly. when 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 we did just saying real quick, when mm-hmm. we did the interview with you, you was like you wanna fix it. And today you saying, I just wanna be happy. It wasn't the same answer from yeah. two weeks ago. Yeah, so so that's why I'm maxing. <laughs> so All right. Well, honestly, basically what it is. Look at that professional camera on raising the mic. Much yeah, respect. That's, that's a broadcasting I'm professional talking. right there. That's what I'm talking about. He goes, just you know what I'm I, saying? I have you another man. Broadcasting. Let know how to broadcast, my friend. Just just because I'm getting a massage from another man's wife. That's no excuse for sloppy audio. Yeah, your gram alone. says you're single. Yeah, my gram says I'm single. You know, I, I travel mm-hmm. alone. I do everything by myself. So I might as well just be by myself. This is the million dollar question. Yeah. For real, for real. All, all jokes aside. Nobody if you can have- Yeah, all jokes aside. Listen, all jokes aside, while you're getting a massage, let's let's get real here. You know, let's get let's down get to real. the brass tacks. To the hard the hard hitting questions while you while you're a married woman rubbing this dude's lower back, getting that L seven. This is what's crazy. This is grown ass people married they 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 were legally married and somehow because her instagram status says single right all the marriage vows down the tubes my friend mm-hmm. there you go based on a, a just a click a click on your social media it makes you single so i but this is this i'm going to say something about this this is a weird thing and like people think of basketball players as having a lot of game but what you don't understand is a lot of these the opposite. players they have zero game. They, they, they have no game at all because they, you know, like all they ever did was play basketball. And they didn't have to be charismatic to get girls. They got girls because of their status, because they were basketball players. And, you know, when you're doing double practices, you know, I know dudes who, 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 who you know, I went to Division three school, but you got to do double practices but if you're the top dude, chicks throw themselves at you. You don't have to. It's not like you got to 
be interesting or maintain interestingness or whatever. You're an athlete. Women come flocking because they, they're enamored by the fame and the power. But that's not game. Like Same thing like Zion. Zion had to. He was, you know, t- uh, sleeping with some with uh, Brianna Mills, pros- pro- prostitute slash porn star slash whatever the fuck. And he was like, yeah, we're going to be in a relationship and such. And then all of a sudden he got into he got into another relationship with somebody else. And I think he got a baby on. He the got her pregnant. He like, not- yeah, she got pregnant. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then he yeah, started posting pregnant. videos about, hey, little baby, I can't wait for the future. And then she blew up his spot going, well, I don't know, blew last week. Spot. Said we were yeah. moving in together. Now, let me just say this. Uh, Brianna Mills should have a turnstile on her gooch to slow the traffic that comes in. It's just the simple. She should, she needs to have bouncers to slow down the traffic get going in her gooch. It's just a lot the of in and out. A lot of yeah, a lot a, of a door guy with a clipboard. Like, listen, oh, yeah, man, yeah, we yeah. can't let anyone in until we let some people out. It's just a fire code. It's, we had the fire marshal here down here like 15 minutes ago. He said he's going to shut it down. So you got to be patient, please. Everyone's going to get in. Everyone is going to get in. Everybody. Everybody's going to get in. Just give me a few minutes. I'm not <laughs> talking about the relationship. It seems like you had the relationship you wanted with Joe, but yeah. y'all was struggling. You didn't have the relationship okay. I wanted with Joe. Um, our, when Joe and I first got together, he said, he said, I cannot be the man that you need. And I didn't believe him. Oh, wow. For a long time, because mm. I figured that, you know, depression and, you know, whatever he was going through, I could help, you know. So he Every didn't lie to you. Thinks that, he didn't lie to you, though. No, he didn't lie to me. So and then it's not his fault. It's not his fault when it comes to the emotional aspects. Of it. Listen, if you tell somebody you're not worthy, they're going to believe you. Um, This is some of the things that you got to you have to when we talk about the perspective of 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 of, of man school and everything. You 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 are telling a woman that you are not worthy, whether you realize it or not. If you don't believe you're worthy, trust me, you are communicating that in the subtext of everything you do. It's in the way that you talk. It's in the way that you dress. It's in the cadence of your voice. It's the way that you respond to situations. Your posture, your you, body language, your facial expressions, all of it. You got to You got to You have to understand that there's no. There's no I mean, you can lie to other people, but you can't lie to yourself. And women have an intuitive sense that other other uh, that men don't have where they understand when you think you're not worthy. And this is why it's important for you to work at being the best version of yourself, because if you're being the best version of yourself, you give off that kind of confidence that says that you belong where you're at, that you belong with this woman, that you belong, that you deserve happiness that you deserve respect. Now, um, you know, I mean, you, you, this guy, you know, there was clearly a physical attraction. Um, I mean, she's a little long in the tooth now, but, uh, well, she's a good looking older woman, you know, and, and, you know what I'm saying? This is what happens when, when, when experience, uh, experience, uh, Gooch master (laughs) will, uh, (laughs) put the gooch on you when you don't have experience and you don't you don't have the all of a sudden you in love it's like well, honey i'm never coming home well there's a couple of things to unravel here with all this right there, there's there's a lot of things so the other aspect of it is when everyone goes what's the big deal it's just the only fans page and so this is what I don't you know anybody that says that but go ahead <laughs> online online there's people yeah there's some people online who go well oh, you know women? Women, women are going. Women are people. Women are people. That's true. Um, it is mostly women. It is mostly. Ro- I think we just established that in the Supreme Court. But during this next election, that might change. If you love what we're doing here, go to Patreon.com. It's the best way to support us and check out all the bonus content. That's right. Patreon.com slash Manschool202. We do weekly bonus episodes. We do listener mail, dating tips. And also, if you love the show, you can go back to the archive starting from episode one. All the episodes will be there at patreon.com slash manschool202. When people talk about, oh, okay, what's the big deal? It's only this. It's only that. You know, it's her only, body. Only her fans. Yeah, only only fans. What's the big yeah. deal? And even when she goes, it's only only fans. It's just only fans. I'm not doing anything. I'm just doing it by myself. What's the big deal? And it's a slippery slope because now it goes from I'm just taking a couple pictures. 
Now it's I'm um, organizing massage campaigns virtually. Mm. Then yeah. it's I'm um, massaging guys myself. And then when does it go from that to, well, I'm already massaging him for a couple extra bucks. I could I could jerk him off. Give for him a couple. Little- a little yeah. blah, 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 blah. it what my point is is it becomes a slippery slope when you talk about these things and that's why you set boundaries and you have to understand is this the type of person that I want to be with that's also why you don't marry somebody who did adult films because yeah. in all fairness to her this is all she knows yeah she's like yeah. a carpenter to, her, to to a carpenter everything every problem is a nail and every solution is a hammer this is all this is how she knows how to dig herself out of any hole it's Listen, this. I, I, uh, uh, Patrice used to say this to me all the time. He was like, look, if I need some pussy, I know how to pull fat bitches. You know, if I got to eat, right? If I'm if I'm starving, I mean, I may not go for caviar, sea urchin. You know what I mean? I may not go for venison, but I am going to find a fat bitch. I'm going to I speak their language. We could lay up in the bed and eat cream puffs together. Patrice, you know I mean? Patrice is the fat whisperer. Is that what he he's saying? Because whisperer. I know that's <laughs> the knows. skill I have. That's what I do. This is this is what I know how to do this. And and so I'm naturally going to be if I got to if I got to do anything, I know that I'm I'm good with this. And and so that's and, and this is her. She know when it comes down to. Look, she talked about this. There's, there's all the videos where she talked about, you know, when she was younger, there's some sexual abuse and stuff like that. And so, but I mean, this is where, this is how she knows how to make a living. When things are down, when the, when the chips are down and there's no other way out, she knows that she can use her body and her good looks and, and her attractiveness. This is, this is the realm where she knows that. And, and that's, you know, that's what it is. You, you, I mean, and it's always comfortable with that. I mean, I, I'm going to tell you something. It's even when I, I know friends of mine who were like strung out on drugs back in the day, dog, I, they don't stop doing drugs until they get tired. You know what I mean? They, they don't, they don't, until they get tired of getting high. Like you got to tie, you got to be tired of being a hoe. You got to be tired because everything, no matter what it is, no matter if you're, if you're sophisticated, everybody gets tired of something. This is this is how she knows how to butter her bread. And this is the dude that he, and he married a chick who knows who this is, who she is. I, you know, a lot of times I will get consultations where a dude will be like, yo, this is what the situation is. And then she did this and I did that. And then and then, well, how do I fix this? And and, and the real thing is that real game is no game. Real game is no game. You got to be in a situation where you're going. Um, you can't make people do what you want them to do. Yeah, I mean, they, even even pimps, you know, it, it, the chicks who 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 sell pussy are chicks who sell pussy. You, you got to yeah. have that. It, it, it's the same thing. Like, oh, here's even better. When you talk about guys always want a threesome, if you got a girl and she's not into threesomes and you like she's not really into women and she's not into threesomes, I mean, you may be able to expose her to something if she hasn't been. But but if if she hasn't had threesomes and she's not a threesome chick, it's got to be in the back of her head. I always wanted to do this. I always. Yeah, I always was into this because well, all you it's the is- type of partner you're selecting the type of partner you have based on what they what they are and yeah. if you want a sexual relationship you go with a very sexual person you yeah. don't try to convert somebody from something they're not into something they are if you want a ferrari or a sports car you don't get a pickup truck and vice versa if you want a housewife you don't get somebody who does adult films it just doesn't you don't go to the burger joint yo let me get that spaghetti yo yeah. let me get the car the, the, the alfredo you know, don't Got be it. surprised about the outcome. Guys get in in entranced by the sexuality of it, and then they try to take that and convert it into a relationship. But also, mm-hmm. women on the other end, she's she also. But you know, it's your responsibility as a guy. A woman's just not going to yeah. do that because in her head, she legitimately gave it a shot. Yeah. She's like, yeah, I could be a normal housewife. Sure. And, uh, that would be nice, and it would be. I got if all everything the money that I want if I don't have to hunt. If I'm not and my back is not against the wall, if the money that we, I think that I need to to be happy is available, then I could I could play this role. 
But I, to be honest, I don't even think I think this is destined to this was destined to go in this direction, no matter what, because you, you, you you're, you're trying to make somebody into what they're, they're not. Now, here's the other thing I would say. The opposite is true with a guy. If you're a guy and you're really not that guy, like you, you get guys. I've, I've had guys who were absolutely, you know, like I've, I've counseled and they was like in the game and multiple chicks. And, but if you're not built for that, dog, you, you go right. But you go, yeah, I'm not. I don't want to. I don't I don't want to do that. I don't want to do this. I don't want to juggle four or five chicks. I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to call somebody. I mean, they don't even want to fuck four or five chicks. If if you'd be surprised how when you when the opportunity is put to you. Listen, I know from personal experience. I mean, I was, you know, thanks to everything you taught me, I was on a run. I had a roster of eight. Yeah. Eight. And at one point I realized I'm, I'm not having fun anymore. Like, you know, yeah. there's aspects of it that I loved. Yeah. But after I did it, after a while you go, yeah, you know what? I, I kind of want to do this book. other thing. Yeah. I kind of want to settle down just with yeah. one with one chick, you know, and you don't, it seems, it's just when you're deprived of something. The thing is guys are deprived of a lot more right. opportunity. So everything is, you know, you have oh, to. Oh, wow. This is, yeah. it ain't great. It ain't all gravy, bro. It ain't all gravy. It's all work. It's all work. Everything, everything, anything worth something is worth a just sacrifice. If it's worth something and every, if everybody could have it, everybody would have it. What's the biggest takeaway guys can take from this, Dante? Or maybe the, the biggest principle that you think is the most important you have thing? To, you got, well, this is, I mean, I hate to put it like as simple as, but it's, you got to be honest with yourself. You got to be honest with yourself, who you are and who you're dealing with. You got to listen. You have to ask those questions. Don't get so caught up in a, in a situation where you're, where um the the simple just being involved in the in the activity is like you like this is a like you're making these decisions that are life decisions and you 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 you're making decisions about your happiness you have to ask these questions can you imagine if he had said to her listen um what if we're not yeah. What if we're not financial? What if what if we get on hard times? What if he had asked her that? Mm. What happens? You say you love me. And I, I would imagine that he pushed this whole thing in the first place. That it wasn't her. Um, you, think it was her you think it was him pushing the. Of course. Why of course. do you think that is? What is the logic behind that? Because you can look at the way it is now, like the way it is now. She's she's like, look, I'm I'm. I mean, we looked at we we did a couple of videos on this. Check out in the archives where we 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 talked about the the whole Joe Smith thing and and the interview and and this woman is like she's so dismissive about this. Even when you talk about even when you're looking at the thing with Cam, she knows that this is going to be hurtful to this guy Joe Smith. Like this guy married her. She's on Cameron's and Mace's show. Giving this dude a rub down. It's not like she doesn't know that this is painful, that this is going to be painful for him. Even if it was, even if she did her thing, right? Even if she decided, yo, this is how I want to live my life. I want to go back to home and I want to go back to massage, whatever the fuck she wanted to do. How much does she not respect this dude that she just goes on a, on a show and, and does this? to where where mace has got it yo what's you know like is he gonna be upset about this is he gonna oh, she knows he's gonna be upset about it. she doesn't care i'm not an alpha male i'm not a beta male either i'm just a better man better man well, put your happiness first because if you don't they won't